What's up, everybody? How you feeling? This is your dude, Mike Green Hugs for Harlem. I'm back in the building. Um, glad that you're watching today, wherever you're at. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been hot and muggy for the last couple of days. Um, um, police brutality, police harassment. Uh, not brutality as in getting beat down so much, but just being searched, just being frisked for no reason. And let me get this out. Because I was frisked, you know what I'm saying, for just sitting in the park and, uh, you know, just, you know, enjoying the breeze. Uh, and they have a lot of rookie cops who are on the beat. They're not riding the cars. They are walking the streets, uh, you know, looking for something, looking for that big bust or looking for that big, you know, uh, big, big something, you know, or just trying to get quotas, just the right quotas of to make them, you know, look good when they go back to the office or when they go back to the precinct. And it's just kind of crazy because, you know, a lot of young people are being searched. And uh, a lot of our brothers and sisters on the corner who just chilling, just relaxing, just hanging out, enjoying the nice weather in the summertime, are being uh, harassed or being uh, ch checked and searched. And you really don't know how to deal with these police. Some of them are real cool. Some of them, you know, are not so cool. And so, you know, this is a big issue, especially uptown 151st Street in Amsterdam, between Amsterdam and Broadway. You know, the, you got the Dirty 30 up there. And a lot of uh, young people are being harassed. They are being uh, checked uh, for no reason, just because they're black. Just because you're black, uh, and this is the truth, this is because you're black, you are suspect to be stopped because they think that you are a drug dealer or you're using drugs or you or you or the big you know the big excuse that I get is or the big you know thing I hear is um well it, it was a robbery around this area, and so you might you know we we're just stopping to see if you have any weapons or if you, are, if you are the person who robbed somebody. I guess if you're black, if you're young, black, and tall, you're a suspect, if you're a suspect because you might be the person who robbed somebody. But it's funny how they don't get the people who are doing the robbing and the stealing. They get the ones who are not doing the robbing and stealing. You know what I'm saying? And this is a serious issue and needs to be talked about. I know several people uh, who, a young man who was coming up to visit his uh, uncle who was stopped and frisked, and then I was stopped and frisked. And these are rookie officers trying to, you know, make a name for themselves. Yeah, how you doing? Yes, sir. I know what you're saying, my brother. Some white kid thought I was bad because I'm black. You did what? Some kid thought I was bad because I was black. Some kid or some cop? Some kid in my school, my class. Oh, in your class. They, yeah. they, 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 what did they do to you? He, he's like, oh, man. Oh, all right. And what 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 race was he? Albanian. Oh, he was Albanian, and he was harassing you because you're black. Yeah. That's crazy. Did you tell anyone? Uh, I told my teacher. And what did the teacher do? He got detention. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Well, you know, keep your head up and stay positive, and don't let anything or anyone uh, get to you or, or distract you from doing good in the world. All right, thanks. All, all right, man. All right. All right. Well, you know, there's a lot of harassment going on, ladies and gentlemen, and we have to speak out about this. You know what I'm saying? Hello? What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? I just want to say this is one of the best public outside show I've ever seen. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for the right. love, man. Yeah, you've been, you've been going for a long time here. we got to keep you here Yeah. Uh, a very long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... so you know, I thought about that computer company on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, every Monday, every Monday from 12 to 2 at Verizon. No, I know about it. I, I know about it. I've been telling people about it. All these computers and all that. That's good. No, That's okay. great, you know? Yeah, yeah. I've passed by there a few times, and I see the people going there and all that. But, you know, it's good. It's good because you got people that don't know how to use computers. And when it comes down to applying for a job or something, yeah. a lot of these jobs... Is about computers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You you're need right. the computer skills. Yeah, you're right. You need the computer skills. Yeah. Yeah, 
a resume. Now everything's by computer. Yeah. And so you're not getting a lot of that, that, that stuff. It's just, you know, resumes, and people how they say, oh, email me your resume. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. People are like, Email. I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. you're right. Yeah, you're right. So it's very important. That's why we are uh, setting people up, and we want to educate people, uh, and that's why Hugs for Harlem is here to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's good that they're doing that because, you know, people need jobs that they, and they don't know. They don't know. Yeah. That's, that's like saying if you, let's just say you actually do get a job. Yeah. And, I, and they want you to use computers. Yeah. Hey, like, um, uh, I know yeah, 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 yeah. So people don't have an excuse not to get the training, right? When, especially when it's free, right? You know what I mean? Thank you for calling me up. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, man. Have a nice day. Connie Wilkins, who uh, made a donation to the Hugs for Harlem organization. Thank you, Connie. Uh, I'd like to uh, make a donation. A contribution to Hugs for Harlem. We need your contributions and we need your donations here at Hugs for Harlem. Uh, I would like to say we can do it all by ourselves without money, but that's a lie. Yeah. Uh, you can't do anything without money. Mm. And we are a nonprofit, tax exempt, trademark organization. And everyone who's watching out there, please email me. Take my email address down, Harlem Needs Hugs at yahoo.com, and say, Yes, Mike, I would like to make a contribution. I would like to donate to the Hugs for Harlem movement, the Hugs for Harlem cause, because I believe that you're doing excellent with our young people in our community, mm. all right? Or you can MySpace me that information. Go to MySpace, or you or go to Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Hugs for Harlem is on Facebook. Okay. So go to Facebook.com, Hugs for Harlem, and you can find us there, and we need your contributions, and we need your donations here at Hugs for Harlem. Both part. Both part. Yeah, because you mentioned their career. The, the artists that have a mental breakdown, it's up to you to console the artists. Oh, okay. Yeah. A lot of artists say, yeah, yeah, I want to do it. And you say, okay, I got to show yeah, for you yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my back hurt, my foot hurt. Yeah. My baby true. is sick. Yeah, yeah. That's you got to make it happen, baby. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to make sacrifice. That's how JV and 50 Cent Puffy made it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am C, stay out of people's voice. 121st Street, Linden 7, 07F. That's right, you got to make sacrifice. That's how, that's how Hugs for Harlem, you know, became strong and, and noticeable out there. Yeah, definitely. Because I had to make, I had to make sacrifice. It ain't right? easy to get a touch with a celebrity. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. A lot of yeah. celebrities got ego problems. That's right. You got to be at the right place, place at the, the right, right time, time. And have that you confidence to approach right. them. And, and you got to have you gotta have good networking skills. Yeah, yeah, that counts. Yeah, good networking skills. Hello? Yo, yeah, what up, Mike? Yo, what's going on, baby? How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm feeling good, man. Good to I'm, hear from you, man. I'm digging with you and your man. We talking about that marriage thing or what. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing, yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so, so I, I kind of caught that episode of Red Lock or not. Dead, dead Lock, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Today? You know, yeah. yeah, yeah, you saw it, right? That was crazy. Yeah, I know Money was glad, though. He was glad she tore them papers up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like that because he was probably getting down like that. Yeah. A recession. It is a recession. But then I, I look up the hard. word. See, what does it mean? Is, this, is, this is what we got to look up. We got to know our words. Okay. And we use the word recession. Now, session, a session, S E S S I O N, only means to meet. Oh, to meet? To meet. Okay, okay. It means a meeting. Okay. Like the Congress has uh, sessions, Congress mm. sessions. Or you go, uh, you, you meet with somebody. You have a, a session with your, uh, your your company, whatever. So re okay. So, so it only means, session only means to meet. To meet, I got it. All right? Or meeting. Got you. M-E-T-T-I-N-G. Now, re means to do over again. Right. So do the meeting over again. So re meet or re meet with or have a re meeting <laughs> with whatever right, you're right. missing in your life. Life, I got you. So if it's money, then you need to go re meet with your money. Right. Hug for Harlem, the hottest show in America right That's now. That's right, man. We the hottest. We gonna be the hottest show in the world forever. Ever, yeah. Forever. You know, you, you hear, you hear, you hear, uh, you hear, you hear all these, you know, puppy says, uh. What? Ten years from now, we'll still be on top. Mm. Yeah. Well, ten years from now, Hugs for Harlem will still be on top. That's real. Whether I'm here or not, Hugs for well, Harlem is still, still going on top. to prosper yeah. <laughs> and be on top forever. Yeah. I said it. Yeah. Mike Green said it. Mike Green. I said yeah. it. The CEO, founder of Hugs for Harlem said it. That's real. We're going to be around forever. DJ Guap, what up? <laughs>